I get asked all the time, what's the best blender for smoothies? Now it's no secret that Vitamix and Ninja are two of the leading brands in the blender industry. And I have them both here with me today. So we are going to make some smoothies, do a comparison and figure it out together. Hi, I'm Nicole, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on those post notifications so that you're the first to see my videos when they come out. We are in the middle of a smoothie bowl series. We've talked all about how to make your smoothie bowl thicker, different ways to decorate and top your smoothie bowl, and we've even learned how to make an acai bowl with no acai. So I'll put the link to that playlist. It'll either be here or here. I'm not sure which side of the screen it'll be on, but I'll link that above so you can definitely check those videos out. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that all the products we'll be using today, including the blenders we'll be testing, are linked in my smoothie bowl starter kit in case you want to stock up on some products and start making smoothie bowls yourself. Okay, I'm so excited to jump into this video. Let's get started. Now, if we're talking price, the Ninja is definitely gonna be your more budget-friendly option. This blender retails for $149.99, whereas the Vitamix 5200 retails for $399.99. So this one is quite a bit more expensive. Another thing I love about the Ninja is that it comes with a bunch of different attachments. This kit that I have here comes with the main smoothie container, and then it has two personal size cups, and it also has a food processor attachment. So it comes with a lot more gadgets than the Vitamix does, but the Vitamix comes with a lot of power behind it, which can be helpful when you're trying to make other things besides smoothies. Another thing about the Vitamix is that it comes with a 10 year warranty, whereas the Ninja comes with a one year warranty. Also the Ninja is famous for having these really thin tower like blades that go all the way up your blender, um, but because they're thinner, they're like kitchen knives. They wear out quicker and then they're not as effective. Another little technical thing is the Ninja. The blade in the motor is plastic on plastic, so this motor part is plastic and then the actual blade that you connect is plastic. And on the Vitamix, it's metal on metal. So this is metal and then underneath the Vitamix container is also metal. This allows for more torque and it's not gonna wear down as easily as plastic will. Although the blades in the Vitamix don't go all the way up like they do in the Ninja, they're thicker and they're more blunt, so they're gonna last a lot longer. Also, both of these blenders have a 1500 watt motor. For this test, I'm mainly looking to see which blender can blend it best and which one can blend it fastest. Okay, let's do it. Woo! I'm gonna be doing the same green smoothie for both of my blenders. I'm gonna start off with some almond milk, but I'm gonna have to load them a little bit differently because the blades are on the bottom with the Vitamix and with the Ninja, we're gonna be flipping this upside down. So I'm gonna want my frozen parts down on the bottom on the Ninja, but on the top for the Vitamix. So I'm just adding about a cup of frozen mango, riced cauliflower, a frozen banana, a handful of spinach, and then one scoop of vegan protein powder and half of an avocado. All right, perfect, time to blend. Okay, let's blend the Vitamix first. I'm just gonna put this off to the side. I'm setting a timer, let the race begin. really weird here but this took me two minutes time for the ninja I'm just gonna shake this stuff down because the blades on the bottom and I want to make sure that there's no problems okay screw it on I'm gonna pulse it first <laughs> add some almond milk here. I left it out just in case. Sometimes you have to keep adding liquid just to kind of get it going and this is why sometimes the Ninja you can't get as thick of a smoothie because you have to add liquid just to get that blade going. Whereas with the Vitamix you can just use the stick to punch it down. There we go. I kind of hit it too. Okay, that one was four minutes. So double the time of the Vitamix, but now let's see how it looks inside. I'm nervous. It tastes good. Got my coconut bowls. Woo! All right, here is the Vitamix one. It's definitely blended well. Okay, now for the Ninja. Ooh, okay, not as thick, but it's still a good consistency. You can see the difference in consistency. The one on the right with the Vitamix is much thicker than the one on the left, which is the Ninja. This one is probably better for a smoothie, whereas this one is thick enough for a smoothie bowl. Okay, not like we need to do a taste test, but 
why not? Ooh, it's so refreshing. Okay, Vitamix. You know what? This is so interesting. Okay, obviously they taste the same because we use the same recipe, but the thickness really does make a difference. So the Ninja one is a lot thinner. And I think, I mean, this is great consistency for a smoothie. Like, I don't know if I'd make it a smoothie bowl, but I would almost pour this in a mason jar with a straw and it's an amazing smoothie. But because the Vitamix one is so much thicker, it does almost taste different. Like it tastes like ice cream. It tastes like frozen yogurt because it has that thick, smooth like consistency, even though the flavors are the same. Hmm. Very fascinating. I feel like there are so many fascinating takeaways from this. First of all, the Vitamix is a little bit quicker of a blender. And I think that's because with the tamper, you're able to push everything down and get it blended up faster. However, the Ninja comes with a lot of gadgets and accessories that might be good if you're looking to do different things. And I think the little personal size cups are really handy when you're making smoothies for on the go. They both blend pretty well, but I found it a lot harder to get the Ninja to blend without having to add more liquid. And you know me, I'm the smoothie bowl queen. I love my thick smoothie bowls. And so I try to add as little liquid as possible, but it just doesn't blend up as well if it doesn't have that liquid to get started with it. Like I said earlier, I've been using this blender since college and so I have experimented a lot with it and I have been able to get thicker textures with smoothies. It just takes a lot more time and you have to be patient and you have to keep taking it on and off the blender to shake it down, stir it up, even open it up, use a spoon and like push the ingredients around before you can get a consistency that's a little bit thicker like this. So for me, I prefer the Vitamix because I can get this thick consistency in half the time. And the Ninja comes at a little bit more of an affordable price, so there's that. At the end of the day, these are both really amazing blenders. It really just depends on what you want, what your budget is, and what kind of smoothies or smoothie bowls you're trying to make. If you want to check out this Ninja Auto IQ or the Vitamix 5200, I have them linked on Amazon through my smoothie bowl starter kit, so just find that in the description box below. And hey, let me know what other types of smoothie bowl videos you want to see on this channel. Okay, so question of the day. What blender are you using? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it awesome? Is it terrible? Let me know down in the comments. You are seriously the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Again, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you really soon. And we're done.